this fits nice. Hmm. That's probably a little overkill for what I'm doing. Four solar panels long. Oh, look at that fit. So nice. So nice having a metal lathe. Yesterday I screwed up on this. I uh, forgot to put the hardener in the resin. And I got a significant portion of this done before I realized it. So I ended up mixing up a little bit more resin with enough hardener to like do the whole thing. And then I just rolled it in there, like, and tried to get it all mixed in. And I, I think it may have worked. Yeah. Looks like it's hard right down to the bottom. Oh, so nice. Yeah, that was lucky. This roof mount has taken a long time. Because every time, the last few days, I get the fiberglass out to make uh, another piece of it. It starts raining. Right now it's just sprinkling, but that's enough to make it so fiberglass is no good. So I'll keep working on this motor mount, which is going pretty well. I'm gonna get this done before the fiberglass. I found two screws that fit in these holes, so I can use them. I have to cut this one shorter though. fits in the boat tube oh speaking of the boat tube so I was concerned about the uh, the shaft hitting the edge of the tube if it vibrates and you know over time might slowly wear through then I was thinking maybe I could just take this pipe which is about the same size as the boat tube cut a slot out of it squeeze it a little stuff it down into the tube and then you know the the shaft can fit through this, not touching it, but if for some reason it vibrates and hits the edge, it'll just hit this and not the plastic. It won't wear through the plastic. It'll take a long time for the occasional knock to wear through this. Nice and snug. I'm only going to do two bolts because this fits so well in there. It's not going to jiggle at all. There's not going to be much force pulling on it. So next, get that tube mounted on this thing. Now that's bigger than this, so I'll have to make a sleeve. Right now though, dinner time. All right, got it. 
I have two, whatever these things are called, as long as all four solar panels lined up. Ooh, and now I'm washing my hands off with lacquer thinner to get the oh, any resin off them. Oh, but I have all these little cuts all over my hands. Gah! Ooh, it stings. I've been, I've been working on a top secret thing in the mornings for the last two weeks. It's the kind of thing where I'm gonna have to do like a couple months before I have something to show. Looks like there's enough space in there to get a bolt in. There, I got a second one of those up there to help make sure it's lined up straight. Don't break, don't break. Yeah, I got it. Oh, don't break on the way out. Oh, I missed my good tap handle. All right. Looks like it's spinning nice and straight. Let's see if this thing clears the bolt. Oh, looks like it's good. Oh, I think that's it. I can put this in the boat. Oh, good stuff. Okay, before I put that in, I want to put this inside the sleeve that this goes in. That should protect the sleeve from any accidental rattling or bumping against the sides.